Anne Akiko Myers is a hot commodity in classical music. This internationally acclaimed violinist recently performed with St. Louis-based Crossings concerts at the new Contemporary Art Museum. Meyer's love of music was instilled by her parents, Webster University President Richard Myers and painter Yako Myers. Through her mother's influence, Myers was literally born with a love of music. She read that it really helped with her pregnancy, and so she played specifically the Beethoven Violin Concerto, um, played by David Oistrach. Um, he's a wonderful, fantastic Russian virtuoso violinist, and played that when she was pregnant. And um, when I was finally born, she tended to play music all the time whenever she fed me. So I kind of associated, um, you know, happiness, food, with pleasure, with music. Just uh, hoping for her to understand music. And it not necessarily I want her to be a violinist or a musician, but I want her to love music and understand. Myers and her sister Tony grew up in California and began learning music around the same time they began learning the alphabet. And special gifts were apparent immediately. We realized actually from the first day that she played that she had talent. Uh, we, we didn't know that inherently, but she was in a group lesson, and when she went back for the second lesson, uh, she was the only one that was playing it, uh, playing the music correctly. The rest of the students in the class you know, couldn't play this, so we knew something was different right from the start. Myers performed with the Los Angeles Philharmonic at the age of 10 and with the New York Philharmonic at 11. When I was about 10, 11 years old, I was the leader of a little quartet, and we were named the Angels Ensemble of California, being that I was uh, raised in Los Angeles. And um, we really were pretty popular back in those days. Uh, we were like on the Johnny Carson show, the Emmy Awards, and that's incredible, and those amazing animals, you know. <laughs> so... It was a really great experience, though, to, you know, when you're in L.A., you're definitely going to hit the TV world. Meyer's immense talent wasn't developed in a vacuum. Her parents were very careful in selecting just the right teachers at just the right time. At one point, Meyer's mother was driving 150 miles to take her to lessons. Eventually, Meyer studied at Juilliard. She gives credit to each and every instructor. They all had you know, things to say at that specific time in my life. And without them, like, I wouldn't be here today. Meyer's appreciation of her teachers and the nurturing she received from them can be seen when she takes on the role of teacher herself. The day after Meyer's Crossings performance, she conducted this master class at Webster University's Community Music School. Just apply the pressure on the bottom of the chord. That's great. That's already like 20 times better. How important is it to you to teach to pass on what you know? Well, it always just brings back to me my own childhood. And, you know, there, there are many difficult teachers out there. Um, you can feel frustrated as a child that, you know, what you're doing is correct or incorrect. There's, it's hard to know, you know, the guidelines. And um, just that music is a, a part of any child's life. I think is just <laughs> the meaning of life, really. Meyer's touring schedule spans the globe. She plays about 50 concerts a year. Then there are the recordings. She has several CDs to her credit. Performing new work is as important to Meyer's as the classics on which she was weaned. You need the new work in order to enrich the old work. It, the, meaning you need to, um, it, it gives me fuel to do contemporary modern pieces because they they came from a tradition they came from a place that's old her performances win raves from the critics including st louis post dispatch classical music critic sarah brian miller she's a complete package she, she has the musicianship 
and the, the spark that you're looking for, the interpretive ability. And, and these days, of course, everybody has to be good looking as well. Yeah. And she is. So I, that's why I say that she's the total package. It's a career that's going full steam ahead, which suits Myers fine and makes her family proud. I remember an interview that she had when she was 10 or 11, and they asked her what her dream was, and she said, I'm living my dream.